Gam Booty is on a mission to change people's minds by all means necessary. So is veganism here to stay, or as dead as a steak on my plate later this evening? Veganism, once considered a fringe lifestyle choice, has evolved into a global movement with millions of adherents. Its origins can be traced back to ancient civilizations, but its modern iteration emerged in the 20th century. What began as a noble pursuit, rooted in compassion for animals and environmental sustainability, has transformed into a highly polarizing and controversial phenomenon. Both sides have strong beliefs and can sometimes even become violent towards one another. A protesters who ran on the field during Monday's 49ers game has filed a police report for assault. Initially, it was a heartfelt mission driven by compassion for animals and a desire to safeguard the environment. But as more people jumped on the vegan bandwagon, it morphed into something more complicated. Suddenly, it wasn't just about what you ate. It became a badge of honor, a symbol of being morally superior. We have to raise awareness now. We have to do everything we can, including causing critical disruption. The origin of veganism. Early modern influences of veganism were when it gained traction in Europe and North America during the Enlightenment era. Philosophers like Voltaire and Rousseau promoted the idea of compassion towards animals and questioned the morality of consuming meat. However, it wasn't until the 20th century that veganism emerged as a distinct ideology. The term vegan was coined in 1944 by Donald Watson and his wife Dorothy, who founded the Vegan Society in the UK. They sought to differentiate themselves from vegetarians by advocating for a lifestyle that excluded all forms of animal exploitation, including not only meat, but also dairy, eggs, and other animal-derived products. Watson defined veganism as the doctrine that man should live without exploiting animals, emphasizing the ethical imperative to minimize harm to sentient beings. The Vegan Society's founding manifesto laid the groundwork for the modern vegan movement, promoting compassion, environmental sustainability, and social justice. In its infancy, veganism faced skepticism and ridicule from mainstream society. However, dedicated advocates like Leslie Cross and Eva Batt worked tirelessly to promote the benefits of veganism and challenge prevailing attitudes towards animals and food. They organized lectures, published newsletters, and distributed literature to educate the public about the ethical, environmental, and health reasons for adopting a vegan lifestyle. As the vegan movement gained momentum, it became increasingly intertwined with broader social movements for animal rights, environmentalism, and social justice. Activists staged protests, conducted undercover investigations, and engaged in direct action campaigns to expose the cruelty of factory farming and other forms of animal exploitation. In the 1970s and 1980s, influential books such as Peter Singer's Animal Liberation and John Robbins's Diet for a New America helped popularize veganism and raise awareness about the ethical implications of food choices. The turn of the 21st century witnessed a dramatic shift in attitudes towards veganism. As concerns about animal welfare, health, and environmental sustainability grew, an increasing number of people began to explore plant-based diets as a viable alternative to conventional meat-centric meals. Advancements in food technology and the rise of the internet facilitated the spread of veganism making it easier than ever for individuals to access plant-based products and connect with like-minded communities online. Social media platforms provided a platform for vegan influencers to share recipes, advocacy campaigns, and personal stories, further fueling the movement's growth. Celebrities and public figures also played a significant role in popularizing veganism, with many embracing plant-based diets for health, ethical, or environmental reasons. Their endorsement helped normalize veganism in mainstream culture and contributed to its image as a socially conscious lifestyle choice. Veganism, hailed as a morally superior and environmentally sustainable lifestyle choice, has garnered widespread support. However, it's crucial to thoroughly analyze the counter arguments to veganism and determine whether it even has solid legs to stand on. Many people argue that veganism promotes an unnatural way of life. Over the years, humans have evolved as omnivores, with biological adaptations suited for consuming both plant and animal foods, such as our canines. Additionally, a vegan diet is considered unhealthy as it lacks nutrients such as vitamin B12, iron, calcium, omega-3, fatty acids, and protein. Moreover, 
vegans consider animals to be mistreated and overlook the role of farmers and ranchers in caring for their animals and promoting animal welfare. Contrary to common stereotypes of factory farming and animal cruelty, many farmers prioritize the well-being of their livestock and adhere to ethical standards of care. Although veganism fights climate change, the negative impacts of veganism on the planet are often overlooked. The use of pesticides in agriculture can have adverse effects on ecosystems and human health. While pesticides are commonly used in both conventional and organic farming, their indiscriminate use can lead to water pollution, soil contamination, and harm to non-target organisms. Additionally, monocropping, the practice of growing a single crop over large expanses of land, can lead to soil degradation. This is a legitimate concern associated with agricultural practices, including those used in the production of crops like soy, corn, and wheat. Could this ideology also be backed by not just its supporters, but also big corporations? Big companies capitalize on veganism by leveraging it for profit and selling plant-based products at higher prices. They exploit the trend by marketing processed vegan foods with marked up prices. Additionally, some companies offer plant-based meat substitutes that contain artificial additives and preservatives, contradicting the health-conscious image of veganism. This ironic twist highlights the intersection of consumerism and dietary trends within capitalism, where profit motives often overshadow ethical and health considerations. Evolving from a dietary choice to a woke ideology veganism is often associated with obnoxious behavior. What was once a movement grounded in ethical and environmental concerns have morphed into something far more divisive. The rise of vegan activism has seen protesters causing civil disruptions, vandalizing public property, and even attacking small business restaurant owners. They grouped and banded together and then started hammering my business with one-star reviews. I saw my rating drop from a sensible 4.2 down to 2.8. They, they nearly broke me. While their intentions may be rooted in a desire for animal welfare and environmental sustainability, their methods have sparked controversy and backlash. These activists often justify their actions under the guise of raising awareness or speaking truth to power, but their tactics frequently undermine their cause. Instead of fostering understanding and empathy, they incite anger and resentment, alienating potential allies and turning public opinion against them. This has also resulted in violent behavior from the opposing side. People have been aggressive towards protesters, and it even came down to the death of an activist, Regan Russell, who was fighting against animal cruelty. <laughs> truck hitter. Jesus Christ. Animal rights activist Regan Russell was killed while standing in front of the entrance to Fearman Slaughterhouse. Fulton police are conducting an investigation. Regan was there telling the truth about what really happens to these animals, and she was killed as a result. While veganism began as a noble endeavor rooted in ethics and sustainability, its transformation into an ideology backed by corporate interests has raised questions about its effectiveness as a solution to environmental and animal abuse issues. While reducing meat consumption can have positive impacts, true change requires a holistic approach that considers broader systemic issues and encourages dialogue. So the question is, can veganism actually solve the problems it claims it solves, or is it nothing but another progressive ideology followed by liberals?